Hello everyone, I'm Priya Telly. In today's video, we are going to see a Java program for quiz form. Uh, in previous video, we have seen Java program for feedback form. So in today's video, we'll uh, cover five um, questions or five quiz forms, which consist of five questions. And uh, there will be uh, multiple options. There will be four options so that uh, we could click on multiple choices. So this will be MCQ questions. And uh, it it appears like this. So there will be uh, some title to our form. Then there will be label. So this is a label quiz quiz question. Quiz question one is a label. Then this question which we are seeing. This is also a label and these all the options is a checkbox j checkbox whatever components we have used here is uh, are the swing components then we have this button which is submit button then we are having these um, maximize minimize button which is um, enabled right now and we are having this close button so when we click on the close the form will be closed so we'll see the program for same one important thing uh, this uh, question form doesn't require any database connectivity, but the previous forms which we have seen like uh, or registration form or login form, it requires database connectivity or for verification and for insertion operations. So in that case, we need to import MySQL Java connector jar file. So in this, we have seen how we import this uh, jar file in project uh, in, a, in the NetBeans IDE. But in IntelliJ IDEA, uh, we'll see just we will see how it can be done. So we have to click on the file option. Then in that we are uh, going to go on this project structure. And in this project structure inside the library section, we'll click on this plus button. And we'll select from the directory where we have um, uh, installed our uh, my skill connector Java jar file. So I am having it inside this document section. So from here it is my skill connector Java jar file. So I need to just select and click on OK. So it will be added to the current open project directory. So as I so it will be added here. So as I'm already have uh, I have already added this uh, jar file here. So I'm deleting this. And after adding this jar file, we need to click on the OK button. So it will be added to our project path. So we can we will be able to perform any JDBC operations on particular in inside of a particular project. So here we have we need to import these uh, three important packages like Java X dot swing dot star Java dot AWT dot event dot star Java dot AWT dot star. Then we are having this class uh, named quiz one, which implements action listener interface. So in this we have declared what we need to do is uh, there will be five quiz forms. And after um, answering the, all these five forms, we have to display a score uh, in a dialog box. So for that we have maintained here count variable, which is a, which is static variable of integer type. Then we have created objects of swing components. So different swing components like J frame, J label, J checkbox, J button we have used here. And these are the object of the same. Right? This is frame object of J frame, title object of label, J label. Then question one object of J label. Inside the labels, we provide here text which which will be displayed as a label. So we have we are having here quiz question one and this question as a label. And this text we have uh, de declared or mentioned in this uh, parenthesis. Then we are having J checkbox. Whatever options we are uh, seeing here are the checkbox so that we can check multiple options at a time. So for that we have this component J checkbox. And these are the objects for that. That is answer one, answer two, answer three, answer four. And whatever text will be appear for that checkbox is is mentioned in this parenthesis inside the double quotes. 
and which we are going which we are seeing as an options on this frame then we have this j button component for whatever we are having the submit button so we have created this object as object, we can name it as any we can name anything but uh, it is easier to it is easier to give the name whatever its function is so we have this object submit button and whatever text will appear on that button is this uh, mentioned in this double quotes so it is submit so that this text that is submit text will appear on this button then we have divided our program into four methods that is create window set location and size add components to the frame and action event so implementation for these methods we have uh, uh, displayed below so this is a quiz one constructor and from this constructor these four methods will be called when this constructor is called so we in create window method we have all the things uh, we have the program for creating a frame and um, the setting the title for our frame then whatever what will be the size and x and y coordinates then what will be the layout of our frame what will be the background color of frame everything is will be the uh, everything is defined in this create window method so we we have our frame object which we have created above j frame object so this j with the help of this object we call j frame constructor and then we have these important methods to be called on this object for creating a frame so first of all we have this set title method which is set as question 1 so that we can see here the title is question 1 then we have uh, we have used set bounds method for setting the size of our frame so it takes four arguments x coordinate y coordinate width and height so instead of this we can use set size method and set size method takes two arguments that is width and height then we have uh, get get content pen dot set background method so this method with the help of this method we can specify the background color so we use color class which is which comes in awt package so we we are going to specify color as white so we have used here color dot white then we have get content pen dot set layout method so this set layout method can uh, we have we need to specify here the uh, any kind of layout which we want like border layout grid layout but if we in case we pass null then it will uh, take default Uh, layout which is border layout then we have set visible method which we set as true so this set layout method set visible method is used to make components and the frame visible so that all the components which we have mentioned in the frame or uh, the frame itself will be visible when we set here as true if we set here as false then frame will not appear then we have set default default close operation method which is set as j frame dot exit on close so if we if in case we doesn't specify this method then the frame we, we will not be able to close the frame even though we click on this close button many times then we have set resizable method and we have set it as true when we click at set resizable method and we set it as true then we will be able to click on this maximize button so that it will be enabled else if we set it as false then it, this button will be disabled then we have set location and size method in this we uh, set the location and size for each component each swing component uh, that we are going to display on our frame so we have this title question all this question and answers which we uh, these objects these are the objects for our j label j check box whatever the objects are there we are going to uh, specify three methods for each object that is set bounds set background and set font so in set bounds method we specify four uh, four arguments which are x coordinate y coordinate uh, width and height then we have set background method here we are going to call the color there is a color class of in awt package so we are specify we are going to specify here as white color dot white then we have set font method for each um, for the title or a, every text which is going to appear on the frame we have set the font as cambria so for that we are going to call new font font constructor 
uh, a font class and we are going to pass here the name of the font then type that is font dot center baseline and the size which is which we have set as 25 and we we need to maintain the distance uh, like uh, width and height and x y coordinates as per how it will appear on the frame so we can see that all the for all these components x coordinate is same only the y coordinate is varying and also width and height is also same and also the size font size is same for each this text which is appearing on the frame then for button we don't need a uh, set background method it will take default color which is like which is this one so here we just we have just called two methods that is set bounds and set font then we have add components to the frame method in this what we are going to do is whatever components we have uh, in previous method we just have uh, specified the location and size but still we have not added these components to the frame so if in if we don't add these components to the frame then that objects will not be visible on the frame though we have specified their location so for that we need to add these components to the frame so for that we use add method and this is a frame object frame so frame jframe object so frame dot add and inside that the component name object of component so for each object we are going to do this then we have action event method in this method what we are going to do is uh, we will add action listener to those uh, components for which we require some uh, event to occur when we perform any action on that so for example in this case we have just uh, one component which is submit button so we are going to add action listener to that button so for that we have ac add action listener method and inside this we have uh, passed this this keyword and it will be only applicable if the method if the class inside which this uh, action event is um, specified it should Im implement action listener interface then and then only we can write this here then we have uh, action perform method in this method we are going to specify the event that should occur when we uh, for this particular uh, buttons or components for which we have added action listener so we have action perform method from action event class which implements action, action listener interface so we he, we need to create object for action event class which is say suppose e uh, then we are going to uh, specify uh, events for but all that components which for which we have added action listener so in our case it is only one component which is submit button so we have get source met method for uh, specifying the events so if e dot get source is equal to is equal to space submit button then we what we have done here is we have taken some another string variable which is initially null and uh, we have this answer one component which is j checkbox component so, and for that whenever it will be selected it means whenever we select any this many of this j checkbox then for that purpose we have this each selected method for these components check checkbox components so if answer one dot each selected then if it is true then we are going to uh, insert that option and whatever the option is there in the answer one as it is we are going to uh, uh, specify it in the specify it to the answer string which is a string variable uh, exactly the same way how it is uh, how we have specified it for a j checkbox so we are going to do it for each option and as we know which one is the right option so it is a c pan panel so if we, we are going to specify it whether it is a correct or not so if answer is equal to is equal to c dot panel then what we are going to display first of all when we click on submit button it will display wait for result and then it will display correct answer if it is a panel if option selected is panel then for that purpose we have used j option pane dot show message dialog method and it takes two arguments that is parent component and message so in case we don't want to pass any object or component then we can simply write null here and the message here comes the message inside the codes which we want to display and then if it is a correct answer then we need to increment this count variable to increase our score by one 
and then after incrementing we need we call this quiz to form that is quiz to class uh, and we pass this count variable to that particular class and after calling that form we need to uh, close this frame so frame dot set visible as false so that this frame will disappear and that frame will be open and in case if uh, this is not selected this uh, answer is not equal to c panel then in other case what we are going to do is g option dot show message dialog in this case this first two things will be same first will it will display red for result and then wrong answer and then we are going to call the quiz to form and also here we are going to pass the count variable but here we have not implemented count variable so as it is declared as static so it will be zero initial initially it will be zero by default and that variable will that count uh, value will be passed to the quiz to form then here also same thing we will set main visibility as false by set visible method here we have class main class different class main main one and here we are having our main method so in this we have called the custom we have created the object of this quiz one class which is there above and uh, this constructor then the constructor of this quiz one will be called and from here all these methods are called so when we run this uh, program then it appears like this and when we click on any option say suppose this is a correct option c panel when we click on the submit button it will first display wait for result message and when we click on okay then it will display correct answer and when we click on okay the first frame disappears and the new second quiz form um, appears and here the same implementation we have done and in the quiz two form what we have done is we have again here displayed the count variable we have again defined this declared this count, uh, static count variable and what we are going to do is here we, here this constructor takes this count variable which we are passing from quiz one and that value which is taken into this we are going to specify it to the count variable which is declared here which is statically statically declared here so this dot this dot count means the count variable which is declared inside this class so for that we use this keyword this dot count is equal to count so this count will be this count which is uh, in which we are taking the value which is passed uh, from quiz one form and else everything will be similar only the questions uh, will be different else the implementation is exactly same for all these quiz forms like quiz 1 quiz 2 quiz 3 quiz 4 and quiz 5 we have taken five questions and at the end what we are doing is when uh, if as we have uh, used the logic that when the option is correct then we are incrementing the count variable else we are not incrementing the count variable is keep kept as it is so at the end what we are going to we have to what we have to do is we have to display the uh, score so for that what we have done is j option pane dot show message dialog the parent component is null and the message we are displaying is your score is and then the count variable so it will have the final score that is final value it will display will be the final score so in this way in the else section also we are going to write the same thing so we'll see how it appears so say suppose this is a correct answer which is uh, our question is give the abbreviation of awt so it is abstract when doing toolkit so when we click on submit button then wait for result correct answer then again comes then comes the question third that is third quiz form in this say suppose we, we our question is which method is used to set the graphics current color to the specified color in the graphics class let its correct option is uh, set color method let's uh, choose the wrong option when we click on the wrong option then it will first display wait for result and then wrong answer now we are having this question 4 which is which class is used for uh, this processing method process action event so it is this one button list and main menu so it will display correct answer then we have this fifth question last question that is which method can set or change the text in the label so for that we have set text method 
so our score should be 4 yes it is displaying your score is 4 and when we click on ok it will again open the home page the last form will disappear and this fourth uh, sorry home page is opened and when we click on this close button we can close the form so this is the implementation for uh, our quiz form and this was the last uh, program for our quiz application uh, series so we have seen how to add uh, java java mysql jar file in the intellij idea and also the program each and every program like home page login pass change feedback uh, form then quiz one quiz two quiz three quiz four quiz five and also the registration form we have seen in the first video where we have seen the working of our quiz application and we have all we have done all this using java program uh, standard edition um, in this way we uh, can uh, implement our uh, java program and uh, display this quiz application simple quiz application so uh, that's all thank you if you like my video then please like it and subscribe my channel thank you